Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today, we're going to go ahead and keep going with the Despicable Me theme. So I thought it would be fun to draw my favorite child of Gru's, which happens to be Agnes. So we're going to draw Agnes with her fluffy unicorn that she completely freaks out over. So let's go ahead and get started and draw her overall head which is kind of going to be like a big round circle, but it's kind of ovalish off to the side. And most importantly, I want to go ahead and draw where the unicorn is going to be. So the unicorn's head is going to be right up against her. This is its neck. So we just want to lightly place where everything's going to go. So this is its neck. And then its head goes like this. And the fur will be going into her face. I'm going to go ahead and decide where the middle of her face is going to go. And then her eyes are going to be all the way up here because she's slightly looking upwards. And make a little circle for her nose. And then we have still a three quarter view where her one eye is kind of lightly over here in the corner of her nose and just off to the side a little bit we have another eye so her eye, so Agnes's eyes are super wide so I'm just gonna go ahead and define these big circles just a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead and bring down that top eye line all the way to the where we made the eye line and go ahead and close this off same with over here, I'm going to just bring down this eye line all the way to the eye line and close it off. Now one thing you do want to go ahead and do is kind of make her cheek go underneath her eye a little bit. Just give it that one line. Jump over here, do the same thing where we give a, a, little, a little cheek line going underneath her eye. Because she's smiling really big because she's got her fluffy unicorn. Then I want to go ahead and make one pupil here, one eye pupil at least, right here. And then over here as well, kind of in the corner, because we still have that three quarter turn. And we're going to define her nose ridge just a little bit more to show, plus it looks like she's just a little cross-eyed because she's so excited. I mean, we all go a little bit cross-eyed when we see stuff we're excited about. So we have those. Now what I'd like to do is go ahead and draw her pupil and her shine in her eye. So we're going to put a shine right here and a shine right here. And then we're going to draw the pupil. Now the pupil over here is kind of, is kind of going to be in the corner. And then the pupil over here is going to be a little bit more level to where we can see it. And we can still see the iris, and her irises are brown. But I'm going to go ahead and lightly color in her irises just to show that they are brown. She does have a light little eyelash line, just a little bit. So she has a really dark line right here, and then a dark line right here. And they're just like itty bitty eyelashes. Nothing too crazy, but there are a lot of them. So just go ahead and give a little bit of eyelashes everywhere. Next, what I'd like to do before we define her nose, I just want to go ahead and give her her mouth. So we're going to start over here. I'm going to go ahead and make one dimple here. And then I'm going to jump down right down below here and make another dimple. And what I'd like to do is you're just going to go ahead and start connecting, but curve upwards. And attach. So we curved right like towards the middle. That's where that curve is going to go. And then we're going to go ahead and bring down her mouth big and wide, getting pretty close to down here. I don't 
want to be too crazy with her teeth because I know all the Despicable Me characters. It kind of freaks me out how they all seem separated. But I'm just going to make a straight line for teeth. So I'm going to come down here underneath her top lower lip. I mean her top lip. So I go to the corner, make a line here. And then I'm going to jump over here and make a line right here as well. So we have one teeth line. And then below, I'm going to go ahead and give those other teeth that we can kind of see. Just big old smile. Now I'm going to go ahead and define her nose a little bit more. So we're looking up her nose a little bit so we can see a nostril here. So I'm lightly give a nostril there. And a nostril right here. And we're going to come off to the side. Bring up that side of her nose, then jump down below and define that nose as well. I'm going to lightly shade this in on this side and underneath. After this I just wanted to define her face a little bit more so we're just going to bring down this side just a little bit more right here because eventually the unicorn's hair is going to be going into her face so we can kind of define this just a little bit and we're gonna go underneath her lip her lip right here I'm gonna bring down that chin and just smoothly go back into her overall face. So let's get rid of some guidelines. What I'd like to do next is go ahead and give the unicorn, start shaping up the unicorn's face and giving that hair to him so that she has hair going into her face and which is placed together, right? So to start with the unicorn, we don't really have to do an eye line, but I'm just going to. Right here would be the eye line. I'm gonna make one big circle here and then one circle off to the side of the face so he looks like a sock monkey <laughs> and then I'm gonna jump in the middle and kind of make this backwards C bring out that that unicorn that actual horn <laughs> bring out the horn now I'm gonna start to make that fluffy hair on top of his head and it's gonna go right into Agnes' face. And you can get rid of that guideline. So let's finish up Agnes a little bit more. Coming up from behind here, we have a little bit of her hairline. Now the hairline, it's pulled back into a ponytail or pulled up into a ponytail. <laughs> so we're gonna make this side of her hairline and then her bangs are kind of going to start right here off to the side and they're just going to line across her forehead so we're just going to go all the way up to here and then they stop right there and they go right back into each other so go ahead and connect all of that so it looks like we just put a ginormous like a weird looking moon across her forehead I'm gonna go ahead and give her an ear then we can see that this is part of her hairline and this is part of her hairline for her ear you're just gonna go down give her a little bit of an earlobe there and a little bit right here so what this is is basically her bangs so I'm just gonna go ahead and make these look like bangs. And she has black hair, so they're she has really shiny looking hair. Then I'm gonna go underneath and kind of fill in where the rest of her ponytail is pulled up. So I'm just going to black this out, black this out, and then black this out as well. Make these look a little bit choppier.
And then her eyebrows are all the way up here hiding underneath her bangs. So we're just going to draw, they're pretty thick, so I'm going to draw one here. And then I'm going to jump over here underneath and draw another thick eyebrow. And then, of course, we want to go ahead and give her her crazy cute little ponytail. So it's just going to go up, off to the side. So not right here, but over off to the side a little bit. It's nice and thick. And then it just kind of like looks like a broom on top. It just flurries everywhere. And then we have a couple of strands just kind of coming down across her ear and they are curly. So we have one little curl here and then another curl off to the side over here. I'm going to go ahead and color in Agnes's mouth. lightly give her just a little bit of a lip line down here and then a little bit up here. I'm just going to lightly color that in. Then her neck is going to be underneath her chin all the way over here. We're just going to see one side and then we can start bringing the unicorn's body off to the side again. Where it goes underneath her chin and then the unicorn body starts to curl this way. And then we have a hoof, so it's going to go down, curve up, and then bring this back. Looks like an S. And then we're going to bring another hoof off to the side, underneath its nostril. Let's go ahead and give the unicorn a face. So I'm going to make a line across the bottom of his nose and then his nostril is going to go one, two, three, four, five. So here's his nostril and then a little bit of a dimple here and then the smile goes underneath his nose. And then it has a tongue. So we're going to make a tongue right underneath his nostril. Go ahead and make that more of a definite line and just put the tongue right next to his hoof and then behind his ear I mean behind his eye he has an ear so it's gonna go down and then up and curve this way and then we have one pupil here and one pupil here and we have our fuzzy <laughs> unicorn's face <laughs> so her neck is gonna go outwards a little bit Go out this way her arm and it's gonna curve inwards because that's her sleeve and this would be her overall strap so we have one little overall strap down this way and then her arm you're just gonna draw it out this way so we have a elbow and then it goes underneath the unicorn and you can kind of lightly draw just a little bit of a crease in the forearm just to show that is her arm. And then her sleeve is going to go underneath her arm. And we can go ahead and shade that in. Then bring down the shirt. And it's going to go underneath. And then we have to go ahead and carry out the unicorn's back. So it's going to go underneath her arm is the back and it's going to cut off that side of the shirt we just made. Go down, make the unicorn. I'm just going to go ahead and circle up the unicorn's body. That's the rest of his body. And then you're going to bring down one leg, curve upward. 
and bring down the other side and then off to the side you're going to bring down the other hoof curve upward bring it down and up we can go ahead and close this off there's one hoof and here's another hoof and here's a hoof and then we don't have to close off this hoof over here so this is Agnes's shirt right here, but it's tucked inside of her overall, so we're gonna go ahead and bring down this side of her, her leg. We're gonna go ahead and close off this leg and go up into the unicorn, and then we can kind of see her other leg off to the side, so we're just gonna draw it right here, and then it goes up. So we see this side, and we're gonna go ahead and make a cuff out of this one for her leg and a cuff over here. Then I'm gonna bring down one shoe. It's gonna go down, circle upwards a little bit, go up, bring this back and into her leg. And then this one's gonna go down I'm just going to go underneath where this shoe is and underneath his hoof and bring it up. Bring the top of the shoe. Round this off to the side and bring up her other side. So this has got a sole, so it's going to go, this is the front of the sole and then it goes up and around. And then she has her little Velcro strap, and then the tongue of the shoe is going upwards inside of her pant leg. So we have the Velcro strap, and then we have the inside of her shoe, and I can kind of lightly color this in. We don't see the Velcro strap as much, but we see the opening, and then the tongue of the shoe is already up here. We can just go ahead and close this off and draw this side of the sole of the shoe. So here's the tongue and I'm going to lightly shade this in for her sock. Here's the tongue over here. And I'm going to lightly shade in this sock as well. It does have a line going down her overall so it's just going to go down inwards a little bit and then down and then it goes across the cuff of her her pant leg. Another thing is Agnes's shirt is striped so go ahead and add a couple of stripes to it and then these stripes will go, would be going in this direction because this is her sleeve and this is her shirt and we have the overalls and I'm going to go ahead and lightly shade in the overalls Here we are, there is Agnes. It's the quickest, easiest way I could teach you guys how to draw Agnes and who would want to draw Agnes in any other stance other than it's so fluffy. So yeah, we all understand Agnes's crazy obsession with unicorns. But yes guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you give it a try and maybe we can draw Lucy next week. I don't know, it's totally up to you guys. But I will see you all later, bye.